morning everyone. Quick update on what's been going on here. Um, the last couple of weeks I've kind of lost my mojo and this week, um, with it being the Williams anniversary and my birthday and having Jaden's birthday and Jack's birthday, my wee head's just been all over the place and I haven't really done very much to be honest with you. Um, I have got a lot of stuff ready to go. I've worked really, really hard over the last few days. Um, but it only wait to Wednesday now, tomorrow, to get posted because um, I don't have any money to spare till then. Um, I've had a few stuff delivered today. Um, I had a craft delivery that I had ordered last week and I also had some stuff from eBay. I got a delivery on Saturday and it was my new Inktens colour pencils and that's the colour swatch for them. It was a 72 pack I got. Sorry for shaking you there. The colours are gorgeous. This is a mixture of ink pens and watercolour. And the colours are gorgeous. They're just so vibrant. Um, I absolutely love it. They're just... And they blend really well together. The ink pens pencils, the only difference is once they dry, they're permanent. You can use them on fabrics and things as well. And the colours, honestly, those like yellows are yellow, yellow. They're not just a rough yellow. The only colour I didn't like, and it gave me the heebies, was mid vermilion. When you're putting it down, it is like an orangey colour. And when you go to wet it and blend it, it looks as if you're white, you're brushing on blood. That's what it looks like. It's got that yellow tinge through it. It's horrid. So I really won't be using that very much. Um, but the rest of them I absolutely love. Um, and I'm really enjoying using them. There is a lot of dark colours. Um, but they are all different, if you notice. They're not the same tones. Um, and I really like that as well. Um, and there's an outliner with it, which is great for um, pencil drawing because it's not going to smudge when you're working on it. You can outline it with that and go quite heavily if you want. Uh, so I really like them and I got them really cheap. I'm saying really cheap, but wasn't really cheap, but a lot cheaper than what they're recommended at. And I paid 56 something with free delivery. But they're recommended. Some places are selling them at 120 quid. Um, I was looking at the blocks, but I think the pencils are better. And that's my watercolour pencils. Um, and again, that's the 72. The bottom ones are just my plat. My cheap palette ones, they're just for washing backgrounds and things. I think they cost me three quid or something. They're kids ones, watercolours. But it's just so that I can wash backgrounds, etc. as I said. Um, but the colours are a lot more vibrant. Yeah. And I like this to put with my pencils so that I can see the colour differences because the tips of the pencil and the actual colour are totally different. Um, the other thing that I was going to do was um, I was looking at the Copic markers um, but to be honest with you they're extortionate um, and I have already got a fair selection of Pro markers the letter set so I just bought another load of them um, I don't think I've duplicated any. I 
say think because I'm not a hundred percent certain. And if I have, I'm sure they won't go to waste. I'm sure I can throw them into somebody's rack if I'm stuck. But I got primrose, which is a pale yellow colour. Primrose, and it is a really pale yellow. Um, I got canary, that's quite lots that's better. Canadian, that's a nice yellow, that's a bright sunny yellow. I got leaf green. I got emerald. I got blue pearl. I look. Purple. Satin. This is a good one for blending the skin tones. Um, I have got a few skin tone colours, but the satin is a great blender for it. Got amber. Um, mango. I got Arctic blue. Chestnut, which is a really warm brown. I got warm grey too. And finally, I got the blender pen. Which <coughs> is great for just blending the two colours together. Um, and you just, once this runs out, I am pretty certain I can use, yeah, denatured alcohol for that, um, which is the pro ethanol, whatever it's called, that I bought a few weeks back. And they were all, let me see, I see the colour at a time. They were all 159 each, those pens. Most places sell them at two quid each, or round about then, 189 two pounds. So that was the cheapest I could get them. And they were from, let me see. They were from, at discount, that's the name of it. At discount dot. Co.uk. Um, I then got a few other bits involved. Um, I got a gloss medium, um, which is really just to be used for glazing. I'm going to try this on my ottoman. I had made an ottoman for the wee one. Um, that was his Ian's granddad's. So I'm going to try this on it because the Mod Podge, because it's a gloss, it tends to dry a bit sticky. So I'm going to try this. I'll try it on a small part first. Um, and this was 564. So it's actually not that much dearer than the Mod Podge. Mod Podge, I was. Three, where am I? Three seventy five for two hundred and thirty six mils, and this one's two hundred and fifty mils. Um, so as I said, if it works better, then it's been worth it. If it doesn't, I can use it on ATCs or whatever else. Um, I got flow improver as well. Um, you see if I can make my paint go a bit further. Um, I've seen a few people using it and I thought, hmm, I won't try that. 
it's good to open it now in case I bloody pour it everywhere. Said um, one part flow and prove it twenty parts water. We'll wait and see. I'm not really sure how to use that yet, but I'm going to have a crack at it. Um, I got this heavy carvable modelling piece because I've got a project in mind for D, and I know I'm late with D. I am so sorry. I'm useless, but this was one of the things that I really needed for it because the heavy modelling gel just didn't do it. Just didn't cut it at all. So this, I'm hoping, will be a lot better to work with. Um, so I also bought a few of these wee pots because what I'm going to do, transfer a lot of these bigger pots into wee pots. So they're handy. Um, and they're near me. Rather than having to pull out these big bloody pots all the time. I also bought... This um, black label PVA to use to make my own gesso. The, the recipe that Caroline gave us a few weeks back, and again, I'll just put it in one of these wee pots to keep me going. Um, I also got a brush bath. So now I am using everything and anything. This has been for watercolour, just up here. It's just a wee pot and it's just been used. Downstairs I've been using coffee jars. But this one has holders around the side. Inside there's ridges and that for cleaning them properly. Because um, right now it drives me absolutely mental trying to clean them. And the lid has got a wee pallet there as well on it. Um, and it's got a wee handle so it's nice and neat. Uh, what else did I get? For these beads which are stunning and the, I think they might be hoarded actually for a wee while. Well, maybe not. But um, lamp work beads. They are so pretty. And it's a wee pink rose with the green leaf around it. Beautiful. Um, they were for China. Can't remember how much they were. They were maybe there anyway. Probably not any pens. I think I've got ten of them. Um, sorry, I forgot to put in the prices of these. All the Galleria stuff, the Winsor Newton, was five sixty four. The big PVA was four ninety nine. The brush tub was four twenty. And the plastic jars were fourteen forty for ten of them, but they can be washed out and kept forever. I also got cream chill, and I got a fuchsia chill. That's me. Got quite a few colours of chill now. I've got the white lilac. What other colour did I get? White, lilac, pink. And now those two. So I think that will be me with my tool for a bit. Uh, in fact, I think that will be me for good for a bit because I do really need to save up for my holiday now. Um, I've just been spend, 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 but I've been with no hands. I have spent a wee bit this morning. Um, I'll scan that back out of the way. Excuse me if my desk file is just haywire. Um, I spent a wee bit this morning. I bought paper bags. Um, um, what else did I buy? I bought a butterfly stamp that's going to be big enough to put on the bags. These are for racks, these bags. Um, I bought... Um, what else did I get? I'm just going to double look. 
Because I bought bedding and that the other day as well. Because um, I had bought new curtains for my room and. But anyway, I bought white um, wooden pegs for the top of the bags. I bought coloured striped bags again for racks, and I bought the hook and loop, hook and loop white velcro dots just to seal the white bags down because I'll not be using the pegs on the ones and I bought some paper doilies for the stripes bags and the pegs um, and I've got a few of them so that'll do me for the the rest of the year I hope um, I did buy quite a number Um, what else have I been doing? I haven't really been doing much if I'm honest and say my mojo kind of oops, get up and left. Um, last night I sat and practiced a bit doing some different stitches. This was my is it the triple crochet? I love this stitch. I have made a few errors, there's a big boo boo one somewhere. Where did I see it? As soon as I seen it, I thought, what the hell have you done? Um, again, my tension's no great, but I can live with that when I... Um, it's there. You see it in the middle. No idea what I've done. I've obviously put two stitches together or... God on my nose. It'll be getting ripped out anyway. It was just to practice the stitches. Because um, you need to try and get an emotion with them. Um, again, my sides are ski with. But that'll come with time. I'm not that fussed with my edging just now. I just want to master the stitches. And I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I want to learn everything yesterday. And I don't want to wait three weeks to learn the next stitch. Um, I've ordered another load of wool because as I said I had wanted the purple to finish my blanket because that is just going to be for me. No going to MDL so it is just mine. Uh, so I'm no bother how that's going to appear or how it's going to look. It doesn't bother me. Um, I think that's it. I made rosary beads other night for a customer. Um, for a communion that's coming up, uh, so that's getting delivered tomorrow in Paisley. Um, I'm in the, right in the middle before I had get this delivery of doing bank books from my sisters, well, from my niece's dance school. They collect money every week so that when the displays are back come up, they help me get. Oh, I need to pay out. Um, but that's not really. Today, my agenda is to start these box. Now I've got that. Um, I also want to. Um, what else was I? Edine. I want to finish her thing because I don't know why. I just keep. Stopping and starting and stopping and starting. The first project I had for her, I just couldn't make it work. It just looked hideous. So, scrubbed it back to the drawing board. I have kept the plaque because what I'll do is just texture over it or paint over the top of it um, with gesso or something and use it as a background uh, because of the um, corrugated cap and things on it. So, it will be nice as a background eventually. But that's been it. Nothing exciting. Um, no major issues. Just not being myself. Um, 
physically I feel alright, my legs are a bit sore, but that's just part and parcel of arthritis unfortunately. My hands, touch wood, have been alright, they were a bit niggly last night, but I was stitching for a fair wee bit, and I found with this triple stitch, when you're getting to the end, um, it can be a bit tricky. Um, just dropped a stitch there, but it's fine. Um, it can be a bit tricky to look, hook on the last stitch because you've nothing really to work on. But I'm getting there. I'm not. I'm not stressing myself about it. I done the. So that's me now, Liam. The foundation base stitch, double crochet, half treble, and the treble. Is that it? And the slip stitch. I still need to master the slip. I'm not quite there yet. Um, but the double and the treble have been absolutely fine. And the half treble. Is that the, the double or half treble? Don't know. The terminology just confuses me. But I've mastered the double as well. And I'm sure it's the half treble. Because you don't put round the second loop. If that's right. You pull on to three, then you. Aye, it's a half treble. Um, so I, I've mastered that one. Um, but as I say, I'm just taking my time with it. I do find using the larger needle, especially until I can seal my stitches properly. I did start using this wool here, which is also an iron, but it's um, King Coal, big value iron, and it's bloody useless. The wool on it is too fine. Um, I don't mean too fine, that sounds really stupid. But when you see, I'll just try and show you this. I mean, they're meant to be the same type of wool. But that one's more fibrous. It loosens a lot quicker. And when you're trying to put your stitch through, it's opening. If you see it there. So you're ending up catching in between the wool rather than in under it or over it. Um, otherwise that one is quite well held together. I mean if you do that with them, that one's opening up underneath. But the top one's not. Um, so that one gets thrown by the wayside for now. Um, and I'll just continue with these ones. This is the colour of the ruler I've ordered again. Um, as I say, I really like that colour. That's a double, and it is quite a tight stitch. I was using the smaller needle for that one as well, actually. Um, which meant that you can't really see any indiscretions, if there is any. Um, it says it does look quite neat, that one. Uh, but time will tell. So I said I don't expect to know everything by tomorrow. I'm not in any massive rush. I will just take my time and I'll get there when I get there. But anyway, I've jabbered on for 25 minutes now. I think I've bored these long enough for the day. Um, I won't be back on today because I want to try and get these projects finished and I am in the middle of trying to redo my bedroom. I ordered new curtains the other day. They're up. Um, because my blinds were just. I have ordered new bedding, shabby chic style. Yay! Well, I was going to go down the modern way and go for the black and white and a red and black. And I sent Ian out for curtains and he came back with. They're meant to be cream, but they actually look more grey. 
just depends how the light hits and how they colour. And when I came back with them, I thought, well, I can't put up black with that. That's going to look silly. So I've ordered the shabby sheet stuff. <laughs> God love him when he comes home the morning night. He's going to be like, what the hell? Because <laughs> it's all florally and fluffy and it's lovely. Um, and it just means I can get everything back to normal. Um, try and clean out a lot of rubbish. But anyway, I'll speak to you all soon. And I haven't went missing. I might be a bit sparse this week while I try and get deadlines finished. If I'm late for any challenges, they will come. If I've said I'm taking part, they will be there. If I'm late for the deadline, carry on without me. Um, you will get your entry eventually. Um, just right now, I'm not in the frame of mind for hammering through things. I just need to plod on and take it as it comes. Uh, I won't be signing up for any more challenges just now because I have got a lot on my plate and I hate making myself under pressure to do something that I know I can't do right now. So I will just be stepping back, doing what I can do while I'm getting my deadlines done, and then I will start taking part again. I just feel rotten, and I'll be honest, I feel rotten. Saying, for instance, when Caroline's challenge came up, I had said prior to that, not taking part in any more challenges for now, but I adore Caroline, and she takes part in so many challenges that I couldn't not take part in it. Um, but for now, regardless of who it is, I will be stepping back, and I won't be taking part in challenges. That is nothing against whoever's holding the challenge. I will just be marking down your name and saying that you've done a challenge so that once I have cleared my feet and I am back on my feet again and back into the swing of crafting. I will maybe give you something and send it to you. Not as part of your challenge, just as a sorry I couldn't take part type present. As I said, I do care a lot about you. I appreciate that you took part in mine. Um, I mean, I've seen Dwellers the other day and I thought, I really like doing this, I want to take part, but I know I can't, I know I can't. Um, so I'll just be sending the list a wee gift once I'm back on my feet again. Um, so I hope you understand that and it's not anything against any one person, it's just right at this moment in time I have got too much on my plate. Um, and I have got a few racks I need to send out that are getting beyond the joke they are really late and I am feeling it which is making me give up basically which is wrong so I will be plodding on with that anyway I'll speak to you all soon and sorry for going on for nearly half an hour bye for now